Welcome to NAPE's YouTube site. Today I talk to the founder of Historic Workshops. Lee's team brings living history into the primary classrooms. Lee, thank you very much indeed for joining us on the NAPE YouTube site today. And I believe you uh, represent the Historic Workshops, is that right? That's right. Yeah. Thank you for having me today, Mike. Um, yes, I started Historic Workshops back in 2016 um, and we currently have uh, five other workshop leaders working for us and the business is continuing to grow year after year. That's excellent news uh, because there's nothing better than uh, children actually getting deep into the history, uh, whether it's through enactment or them being involved in all sorts of ways. And congratulations to you as being the founder member. Anyway, so as I, as I said, you've got continuous bookings going on and it sounds to me as if you're quite busy at the moment as well. Yes, uh, this is our busiest year by far. Um, some years that we've had like this one, we've actually doubled the company's turnover. So that's a huge amount of growth. Oh. And that's why we are constantly looking for other workshop leaders to come and deliver these workshops because it is nationwide. Um, sometimes workshop leaders have to travel three or four hours to get to a school. So mm. we can actually accommodate more schools and provide them a, a more competitive price if we have more workshop leaders that are local to them. Yes, I've noticed you do uh, um, on online work as well, which we'll come to later, uh, which is great. And I mean, looking, looking at the huge variety of different topics that you cover, and as you say, the number of uh, your workshop leaders as well, it seems to me that it is expanding. Do you have any sort of plans for the future? What's coming up in the future? Where are you expanding to next? Um, so the business is growing in terms of having more workshop leaders. We don't at this stage plan to do more workshops because we have 14 at present. Um, we might be developing a crime and punishment workshop, but in terms of other history areas, not at the moment. Uh, we have plenty of workshops to do um, and not enough workshop leaders to do them. So lots of our workshop leaders are fully booked. Some yes. of them work five days a week and are just fully booked every single day for the whole school year. Um, yeah. Adam was the first uh, external person to then join Historic Workshops and he works five days a week and currently he is fully booked next September already um, and half of October as well. So the business is very, very busy. Wow, and I, I suspect the workshop leaders have to have all sorts of skills. Um, the new Adam that I have at the moment, who I call Adam B, he mm -hmm. is actually a train, um, a sword fighting trainer. So he is very skilled with a sword. And as part of his what we call a wow introduction to a workshop, he will actually demonstrate some of his sword skill to the children. Um, and as soon as he does that, obviously, he's got all the children for the rest of the day. That's their <laughs> attention fixed on him. I, I can imagine that. I'm, I'm sure they're completely tuned in. I'm glad to hear that so you're considering a topic on crime and punishment, because, of course, that goes across the, the different uh, uh, decades and, and the historic timeline, if you like. Is that why you chose it? Um, uh, mainly we've chose it because there's been quite um, a demand for it. So I often get requests from schools where yeah. they say, can you please do a workshop for this? Or usually, to be honest, it's where they've had some another company come in and do a workshop and they just didn't rate it. So they've said, can you develop one? And that is how uh, I'd say at least three of my workshops actually started where schools came to me and said, can you please do a workshop on this? And yeah. I developed it um, and they booked. Very good indeed. I mean, according to the website, you run uh, all sorts of workshops. If I can quickly share, do you mind if I share your, your website for a second? No, um, let's have a look at it. Let's share that. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. Excellent. So, I mean, on the historic, uh, oh, well, there's a very useful video there as well. 
but you can see Stone Age workshop, ancient Egypt, Maya, ancient Greek, Roman, Anglo-Saxon, Viking, battles of Hastings workshop, medieval tutor workshop. It goes on and on and on. Let's uh, look at, for instance, the Egypt one, ancient Egypt workshop yeah, for a this moment. Is my favorite one at the moment. <laughs> Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Yes, excellent. And if I quickly scroll down, you can see the sorts of topics which are, are covered within the, the historic topic. You've got mummification, um, which, which is a lovely one. I always remember that, a bit going up the nose and so forth. Um, oh, sloppy human organs. That will fascinate the children. Uh, read pens, papyrus, games. City. Yeah, on the papyrus, um, I believe that I'm the only workshop provider in the country that takes in real papyrus. So other workshop providers actually yeah. say to the school, can you provide the paper and the black paint? Whereas we always take everything in um, and not just paper, but real papyrus, which is very expensive as well. Yes, yes. Uh, and of course, the reed pens themselves. That's amazing because Nate, Nate, uh, Teacher's book uh, mentions um, uh, the use of quill and um, um, and of course of um, reed. So lots of different artifacts the children can, I suppose, touch and look at and admire, draw, take photographs of. Yeah, they get to handle all of the artifacts, uh, even though some of them are very delicate and expensive. Um, I let them pick up everything safely and. It's that's the way that they learn the best, I find, is actually holding it in their hands rather than just looking at it. Yes. And within that sort of, if we look at ancient Egypt workshop for a minute, you have something called web chats as well, don't you? And if I scroll down here, let's see, there we are. You can also do it uh, uh, on, on, uh, on, uh, on site, on web as well. Yes, I'm work? actually doing that one this afternoon, the ancient Egyptian one. So that will be me. That I will actually look like that this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> wow, that is extraordinary. And I love your backdrop as well. Yes, it's just like I'm there, isn't it? That's the a temple in ancient Egypt. So that again will be behind me th this afternoon when I do that to a school. Yeah, and that's for £99. So if I click on book now there, it's uh, it's got a description about what is covered who the presenter is, i.e. you, and a booking form. And that's yeah, for £99, yeah. pounds, which seems pretty reasonable in terms of school budgets. And it lasts for 40 minutes. Oh, but with if, a 20 minute Q&A session afterwards as well. Oh, so, so in, the, in all, it's an hour to, yes. for, for uh, schools to plan, which is great. And if we go back to workshops, let's, oh, ah. That's this is, interesting. This is for the future. Uh, right now, we've just got the virtual history workshops available. That one there, I see. Oh. I see. Yeah, yeah, OK. Well, that looks uh, well worth looking. Oh, you've got some which are slightly cheaper. Uh, archaeology and you've got an archaeologist in your uh, as one of your uh, workshop leaders. Is that right? That's right, yeah. So that's Penny there on the screen. Um, she does actually an archaeology session as well. As it says in the description there, she has dug at sites like Vindalanda. Um, and she currently works for Time Team. So I can't say Ooh, too much about what she, program. Yes. I can't say too much about what she is doing at no. Time Team until it airs on TV. Yes. But I was actually approached yesterday by Time Team as well. Um, Time Team would like myself and <laughs> another one of my workshop leaders to be romans for them so hopefully on their youtube channel we'll have a little mini episode where historic workshops will be romans yes there's the romans there gosh that's extraordinary now there's a cost to this all of course um if i can get out of this oh we've got a little little video at the top there as well so how much do these uh, workshops where you actually travel to the school and you know and and how long does do they tend to take uh, so the workshops last for the whole day they're from 9 a.m until 3 p.m um, yeah. basically sound it, it the cost is dependent on which workshop leader you get so we send one workshop leader to each school to deliver a workshop 
Our <laughs> workshop leaders are based all around England um, and they also have a different amount of experience and skill sets. So the cost of workshops to schools uh, obviously vary depending on which workshop leader is delivering the day, how many mm. workshops for uh, and factors like that. So if we take a, a, say a typical primary school, which has got two classes and you've got to, it takes about an hour to travel there and you're using say two workshop leaders, what sort of price are we, are we talking about several hundred pounds, I assume? Uh, well, we always send one workshop leader unless they ask for two. Um, it would pretty much be double the price if they ask for two, you see. So yes. when, when it's one workshop leader, they can accommodate usually up to three classes for the whole day. So this is something that I started back in 2016, which is something called yes. teacher-led sessions. So when the workshop leader is with one class doing something like uh, hieroglyph writing with the papyrus, mm -hmm. the, the other two classes are doing other sessions, which we bring with us uh, and resource, and the teachers then know what to do because we brief them in the morning. So right. it's two or three form entry schools, all of the yes. children um, take part in activities through the whole day. So for two classes, you might be looking at something like three, nine, five or four, four, yeah. five for the day, depending on yeah. different factors. Yes, of course, there, there, there are going to be other factors. And obviously, you'll give a quote and then the, the school can negotiate or decide whether whether it's the, the best way to go to, may I say, enliven that particular historic top, topic. That's, yeah. that's absolutely fantastic. OK. Um, let's just come out of there now. That's good. Oh, good. We're, we're back, back on. Um, so web chats we've covered. Is there anything else that, that to, you need to um, say to our NAEP members and all those interested in employing you in the future at the historic workshops you'd like to share with us, please? Uh, well, there's always exciting developments that happen in historic workshops. So our, our biggest event actually happens on November the 11th every year, which I do a remembrance webinar that goes out to thousands of schools every year now. It's getting bigger and bigger every year. So mm -hmm. usually most schools that attend that um, and basically I talk about World War One from start to finish in yes. a lot of detail and it's all child centred. So it doesn't go over their heads. It's pitched perfectly to primary children. Uh, most yes. schools that attend that, they just book on for the next year. They tell other schools about it and more and more schools book on. So that's something to look out for. Yeah. There's also something very exciting for the next school year, which is brand new. So if schools are covering World War II in their curriculum, which they absolutely should be, by the way, um, basically right. follow, follow us on Facebook to see when and where we will be delivering our brand new World War II sing-along tour. So this is a concert experience in a theatre where the children will get to sing along to the famous World War II songs. Mm. Uh, these will be performed by a real orchestra and conductor and uh, alongside professional singers as well. So what it's an excellent a, idea. Yes. A very special opportunity. Um, and we currently have um, Nottingham booked out. So well, we've got half a ticket sold at the Royal Concert Hall in Nottingham on the 14th of November. So it's definitely going ahead. We've sold half, half the tickets already for November. Did you have a poster or something I, I could include within this video? Uh, so on the Facebook page on events, that, okay. that event is currently listed. And then if people just follow the Facebook page, they, uh, new events are announced on there. So if we come to a city near you, you can just click on that link, find out the information uh, and book on very easily. Now, in terms of feedback, and, and I'll just be, I've noticed, I'll just go back again for a second. Uh, you, you've also got uh, some, can you see that all right? Let's yep. just put it up. There we go. Um, you, that you've actually uh, put on video somebody who's given you some feedback. Uh, and, uh, oh, there we are. Thank you very so much for your Egyptian workshop last week. It was wonderful to see their learning topic brought to life, etc. cetera. Um, do you get a, a fair amount of uh, positive feedback? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so since 2016, all we've had is positive feedback, bar a yeah. couple of workshops that have been done by other workshop leaders. Um, but obviously not everybody's the same um, and some people are very new into it and they obviously need time to settle in and get trained up. But the workshops themselves have all been planned by myself and resourced. So yeah, they are yeah. very uh, high quality workshops with lots of 
hands-on resources. Most of the time, I try and make sure that we bring so much into the school that obviously the school just can't provide that. And that is yes. one good reason to get us in. In terms of testimonials, though, uh, not only are we the largest history workshop provider in the UK now, we have the most testimonials, the most five-star reviews. Um, so teachers are very, very happy with our services. Well, that's incredibly positive. And I think on that note, can I thank you very, very much indeed for sharing your time with us uh, today. And uh, schools, I think it is a very good idea, I'll put the link below here, uh, to have a look at the website and, and the videos and make up your own mind whether uh, in your planning you can include a historic workshops event. And that theatre event sounds amazing. So Lee, thank you very much indeed. Goodbye, for, goodbye thank for you now. Much. Thank you very much.